Hi everyone, welcome to another vlog. Today is 26th of September and I have come up with uh, another uh, piece that I have written. Uh, so the topic is uh, open data in a season of no information. Uh, it, it may seem uh, satirical and paradoxical that I am talking about open data when uh, we are constantly hearing uh, in the news and in our media that there is no data for some of the key matrices of uh, COVID and all the impact of lockdown. So I attended a conference, Open Data Conclave by ISB yesterday. And uh, and it was a very good, uh, a very good platform where I found a diverse set of people from NGOs, from corporate, from, uh, from media, from people from academia so coming all from all the different types of social spectrum and uh, talking the importance of open data so uh, may I, I there were a lot of sessions and there were a lot many uh, I would say group discussions so uh, so in some of these group dip, uh, group discussions many scope uh, spoke about the great strides we have done uh, in bringing our open data bringing out open data because data previously there was dearth of data then there was data but it was in silos but now bringing it into the open was one of the biggest uh, I, I would say advanced uh, advancements of uh, at least uh, in the 21st century that is we today have a data exchange datagov.in and then there is so many other uh, open data platforms uh, uh, available over the internet and there is so much of data even for India so there were a lot of NGOs who came and gave uh, what kind of work they are doing uh, many of NGOs and startups who are working on the open data on the side of open data and it was very enlightening um, uh, sessions so there was uh, also talk about how data is available blood Clear, uh, clean data is difficult so now one of the biggest problems that I heard again and again is that uh, yes a lot of data is there data silos have gone and it is converted into a format but there is all, still there is huge uh, scope of improvement in getting cleaner data because this is the difference that is made uh, that that is between India or third world nations and the uh, developed nations because there. Uh, if anybody wants to get the open data, it is far more cleaner. It's far more. Uh, it has far more data enriched, so that the if if somebody wants to do an analysis on top of that, they can easily do it. But in case of India, there are a lot of data gaps. There is uh, the data is not clean. Sometimes the data even is not reliable. So these were some of the important points that uh, uh, whoever uh, the panelists they they brought it up and they 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 said how they are trying to solve some of these problems in getting cleaner data. Also uh, with the pandemic uh, and the growing of uh, filtering of information and also uh, some, some kind of self-censorship and intimidation, data journalists reused and highlighted the importance of data collection on the ground and how uh, precarious the life of journalists in general and data journalist in uh, I mean people uh, and vernacular generalist who are now becoming more and more aware about data is becoming more difficult but one of the biggest problems is that uh, while uh, uh, people on the uh, while people sitting uh, in the newsrooms in uh, 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 in English news dailies are only catering to a specific uh, 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 a specific audience but these vernacular journalists are reaching to a wider audience and they are getting this open data and uh, making them uh, aware of how they can use this kind of data in their journalism can really improve the quality of the journalism that we see today in India. It's really very bad but at least uh, some of these can help in improving the veracity of the data that uh, or the information that we are trying to give. It, it should not be tomorrow told as a fake news. Uh, but still there is a lot of intimidation and if you bring out the truth there is risks also so these were some of the points that were brought out and then there were uh, NGOs data scientists and social activists and journalists 
to emphasize the importance of open data and dissemination and analysis of this data for better decision making and in general uh, and for general awareness i see more and more people talk about uh, things uh, even in social media or even people who are coming as experts within the uh, discussions and they don't know uh, what data they are talking about or the area that they are talking about so it is better that people should start looking at open data if not open data at least the information that has come out of this data and people are more aware of uh, of statistics at least and understand uh, how that information uh, impacts people and make uh, uh, make informed decisions and this is not just about general awareness but also things like in in judiciary in healthcare in policy making and uh, not now, uh, now most people say that 90% of data science is done in uh, corporates but uh, the more import the more impact it would have is in the area of uh, open data and and so uh, social uh, 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 social improvements so in these areas i think uh, far more data science should come while people said that panelists said that ai is good but ai would also need a cleaner data so it's a chicken and egg problem and this needs to be fixed and I, they said still there is a uh, scope of improvement and there is a long way to go before we can say that we can use AI for better decision making in India. And finally, uh, the uh, one of the uh, important uh, topics of discussion was the risk uh, posed by selective filtering of conclusions from this data. So selective reading of data selective uh, which is convenient just taking that point and then speaking that out so the problem is this is the uh, spread of fake news so or or people who are conveniently taking one side of the data and discarding it so it is far more so it was also discussed that it is more important that an honest analysis of data is done and data is not withheld it is far more openly available but also necessary care is taken that data anonymization is done and uh, uh, and uh, people's uh, and that data is not used as a weapon but rather it's used for public good for the greater public good because uh, one of the panelists said data is the new oil but how you use that oil is important so i feel uh, in a season uh, season where uh, we hear news that there is no information of this no information that even when the data is there in plain sight uh, there were so many people, so many great organizations coming together and talking about open data. And that was very refreshing and I hope more work is done in case of open data. Thank you. Have a nice day.